All right, guys, so we know that Blizzard released a survey back in June of this year talking about, you know, some of the things we'd like to see in a new, fresh, classic WoW, hinting at a new, fresh, classic plus World of Warcraft experience or vanilla 2.0. Things like summoning stones at dungeon entrances that work within original classic, enhanced raid bosses and dungeon encounters, increased debuff limits, and more. Of all of the things, I've heard many of you say, really all you want from a new fresh classic WoW is just aggressively remove the bots, please. Eliminate mage boosting so that dungeon groups can be consistent throughout the life of the server, and please enforce server faction balance, because as we've seen, PvP servers tend to start drifting towards imbalance, and then it just sort of tips all the way and it becomes unplayable for one faction, they all transfer off the server and the server is effectively dead. It's all just one faction. But of all the changes that are potentially suggested either from the community or the surveys, in this video, I wanna focus on one thing, new raids. There are a couple different new raids that people have discussed in a new fresh classic plus WoW experience. New raids such as Karazhan, Karazhan Crypts, Vanilla Outland, or my personal favorite, the Scarlet Citadel. Now, if you've kind of perused Reddit, you've probably seen the Northern Lordaeron map. This map just gets my imagination flowing. Like, this is just the coolest thing I've ever seen. Northern Lordaeron, and we're just going to do some theory crafting here. You know, the map says level 55 to 60 zone. I think that's perfect. But I just want to, you know, come with me on an adventure and let's look at what Northern Lordaeron could be. Now, there are still questions left unanswered related to the Scarlet Crusade. After Uther's Knights of the Silver Hand were disbanded by Arthas, this fanatical group, hell-bent on ridding the world of the undead, came to prominence. Now, Northern Lordaeron would be located northwest of Eastern Plaguelands, and passage there could be accessed near Terrordale and Terror Web Tunnel. From there, you would travel west through Scarlet Crusade and Scourge Settlements to arrive either at Hearthsteed, if you're Alliance, or Ash Hollow, if you're Horde. Now, these two towns would serve as staging grounds for preparing to make the trek over east to the new 40-man raid, the Scarlet Citadel. Now, there are still a number of prominent Scarlet figures whom we still don't know about. Bosses could be High Wizard Arellis Fireleaf or Lord Paladin Harthal Trusight. We also see Lord Paladin Jessariah McCree actually in Wrath of the Lich King as the Scarlet Military Commander of New Avalon's defense. He could potentially also be a raid boss. Now beyond those, there's also the Scarlet Crusade's two chief assassins, Invar One-Arm and Yana Bloodspear, who are still unaccounted for. Now, although throughout Vanilla, players have killed or witnessed the death of a lot of Scarlet Crusaders, as Tyrion Foraging said as he slew Grand Inquisitor Isilin after he killed Talon, his son, a thousand more like him exist. Ten thousand. Should one fall, another will rise to take the seat of power. So, we could see new, never-before-seen characters introduced within the Scarlet Citadel raid. Now, on that day, Tyrion Forging forms the new Order of the Silver Hand. This could be the new faction that helps lead the fight against the Scarlet Citadel, feeling responsible for their rise to power. Gaining reputation with the Order of the Silver Hand would be necessary for attunement to the Scarlet Citadel. By the way, Tyrion Forging is such an iconic and one of my favorite characters, and you know, in all of classic WoW, I love how you know when you first meet him, he he sort of says, you know. Race does not dictate honor. I've seen the most noble and honorable orcs and the most sinister and vile humans. I mean, what a cool guy, right? So, this is a little snapshot of what Northern Lordaeron could be. 
and you know i think that hopefully blizzard can potentially implement some of these things i think it would be really exciting it would take a whole lot of work i think and i don't know if blizzard has it in them to to pull it off but you know if they're going to release a new classic plus wow i'd love to see some brand new dungeons some brand new raids new mechanics i'd love to see some fresh content introduced in a new fresh wow experience let me know what you think in the comments and if you like this video don't forget to give it a like if you want more world of warcraft content don't forget to subscribe my name's toy house i'll see you in the next video take care